This is about me wanting to live without you, whining in my ear all the time about eating bad guys or like nagging me about Anne or destroying my place or destroying my life. Do you know how lucky you are that I chose you? You chose me? But I'm the only person that took you in when your friends kicked you off the planet Ming Mong because you are a reject. You are a pariah. Need to protect my ass. You couldn't protect anything. You are useless. You can get a job down here cleaning toilets. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Please let me fix it. How about it? So I can push it again. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you want to unburden yourself with before um, this happens? Yes. I have wishes to bestow upon you. I want to wish you. This heartbreak. Uh oh, too late. I wish for you to see out your days alone as you always have been. Watch it, pal. Where, where are you going with this? You are a cancer to everyone who ever loved you, Eddie. Deceived your trusting fiance. And no wonder daddy could never look at you again after you killed his wife, your mother. Just by being born. You son of a bitch! Oh, no. I wanted a crib close to the stadium. It's the bay. Rent's ridiculous, so I got some, um, roommates. But this, this isn't what I signed up for. I say either. I say either. These guys are not well. Excuse me. Yummy. Eddie said my life wouldn't be in danger. I woke up this morning with a tendril wrapped around my neck. Not cool. There's a dang chew tire in the living room. What's that about? <laughs> These guys just don't even like each other. That was abusive. Which is bad, because they share a body. Venom's got no chill. You are a loser. Hey, uh, some of us are trying to sleep, so... Sick. I don't know how to tell Eddie it's not working without triggering Venom. I respect that aggression on a football field, but not in my living room. That's the third time this week, dude. Not cool. Venom, let there be carnage. Exclusively in movie theaters, October 1st. In this movie, it's like the seven-year itch cycle of a relationship. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me, please. Let me fix it. So I can push it again. You've got two characters that are literally stuck to each other. Live in my body and live by my rules. How dare you? Are I was doing some serious couples counseling. That odd couple relationship is what this movie was always going to be about as a progression from the first one. Can't stop. Excuse me. Yummy. It's like living with an oversized toddler. They have had enough of each other. They can't be together, they can't be apart. And he's far too selfish. Venom just wants to be the hero. I am a predator. We should be out there, snacking on bad guys. Watching Tom as Venom and Eddie was so much fun. Oh, where are you going? That is a red one! You need to come out right now. I want to give you my story. Cletus Cassidy is a psychotic killer. People love serial killers who got revenge on people that he felt were responsible for his nasty upbringing. When he meets Eddie Brock, you and I are the same. 
he sets his sights on him. It's only right that you hold the door for me on my way out. Vetus finally breaks out of prison as Carnage. <laughs> Carnage could change his molecular structure to become anything, and his tendrils can be weaponized in different ways. It was very exciting to finally see Carnage manifested on screen. Yes. Venom. Ready PG-13, now playing. In this film, we meet Shriek. Shriek has the ability to suck up sound and use it as a weapon. She can be really dangerous. You're sending me to a place where there are others like me. So she's been kept in a box at Ravencroft for 25 years. She only cares about one human being, and that's Cletus. She's twisted like Cletus. Happy days. They'll do anything to come back together. Together, they're so much fun and incredibly terrifying. Lady, we should be out there snacking on bad guys. I am a predator. I need to be free. You have got to get control of your aggression, or you will get hauled off into Area 51. You live in my body. You live by my rules. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Please let me fix it so I can fix it again. You are a loser. Eddie Brock, I want to give you my story. People love serial killers. Please. Why me? What's mine is yours. And what's yours is mine. I have tasted blood before, and that is not it. All I ever wanted in this world is carnage. I'm happy for you. That was going to be us! I am happy for you. No! God, I'm so sorry. Not sorry! There's two in some serious couples counseling. 